couple. You'll have as much fun. Okay, so here is a picture of a baby. It's being obviously held by an adult. And so when you have a child, this child can become anything, right? There's nature versus nurture. Genetics play a part. But for the large part, we can influence what this child becomes. And uh, so maybe this child could grow up to be a great actor and philanthropist. Or maybe uh, someone who protects the community. Or possibly a great thinker and scientist. And, whoops, well, there we go. We've got Barack Obama, so a politician. Somebody's going to bring us together, maybe. And then we've got someone, well, we're not <coughs> exactly sure what her purpose is. <laughs> so, we could become a great chef here. We can become a, an exercise guru like Jack LaLanne or even possibly a heinous criminal. Well, that's Charles Manson just in case. So we don't want that for our child but that's a possibility, right? And uh, when I was making this slide I went, wow, this slide is really testosterone heavy so I thought I needed to do something about that. So there's our media mogul and philanthropist. Here, well, maybe. There's our female community protectors. Here's our female scientist and thinker. Someone under 18, please tell me her name. Marie Curie. Marie Curie, right. Um, we know who this is. Someone who's maybe gonna bring the community together. And we're gonna leave Paris there, because she's on the estrogen side of things. Here we have the lovely Nigella Lawson as our uh, um, great chef. And uh, it looks like we're doing pretty good heading off in the estrogen territory. So here's our exercise guru. <laughs> <laughs> and then our maybe not so heinous criminal. Someone over 18, please tell me who that is. Anybody? <laughs> Leona Helmsley. She's tax evader, real estate mogul. Anyway, so she ended up in jail as well. So, okay. So i got to remember to click properly. So the same thing holds true for stem cells. And here we actually have a picture of a stem cell on a support of cells. And these are just some more mature cells supporting these cells because they're very delicate. And so what this stem cell can become is something with heart, like a great philanthropist. So these are cardiac muscle cells. These are the immune system cells, so they're protecting our body. Great thinker, well, I put the combination with the neurons of the brain. This I decided should be connective tissue, and that's bone and cartilage, and this is a picture of cartilage cells. Um, we actually have cells in the body that we really don't know what they do. And so that's a picture of them. Really, if you want to know more, you can ask me later. It's hard to describe. So. Um, a stem cell can also become those as well. Um, and a part of the digestive system, and this is the intestine up close. Uh, skeletal muscle, obviously. So that's skeletal muscle cells. And surprisingly, stem cells have been implicated in the formation of cancer. So they're thinking you have stem cells in your body, something goes wrong, and that these may be responsible for cancer. So that matches with our criminals. Okay. This term pluripotent is the word we're going to use to describe the ability of the stem cell to become any of these cells, okay? So this stem cell can become a heart cell, it can become an immune system cell, a part of the brain. It can become cartilage, it can become, this is part of the parathyroid gland, it can become part of the digestive tract, part of skeletal muscle, or cancer. Okay, whoops. It jumped ahead. So I'm looking on Google for the cell, and I found this picture for this movie, so some of you have seen it. And then, oh, there's a cell. And then, oh, <laughs> Google it. Well, now it's not going to work. Another cell. <laughs> but this 